In this video, we're going to be looking at adding and subtracting fractions with both, with both common denominators and unlike denominators. So we're going to start by looking, though, at common denominators. This should be a review skill from fourth grade. So when you have the same size parts, so let's say we were going to add, we have two eighths plus we have one eighth. We add, we just have to count the number of parts. Together we have three eighths because they are all the same size. If we were going to subtract and we started with two eighths, so here we have two eighths and we wanted to take one eighth away, they're the same size parts. So we just take one away, take one eighth away and we're left with one eighth. So what we can see is that when we are, well, when our parts, our denominators match, we are simply doing our operation with our numerators because our denominators are the same. And as we saw with our pieces, that means the pieces are the same size parts. So now what we're going to take a look at, we're going to take this skill into our fifth grade learning. And we're going to use some skills of, of previous videos to say, what about if we're adding and subtracting fractions with unlike denominators? Now, remember, unlike denominators means they're different size parts. So, here is an example of operating with different size parts. So the first thing, I'm putting a little thought bubble, you remember back from the previous video, we have to make our denominators match. We have to make these the same size pieces. So to do that, we find the LCD. So in the previous video, we had halves and thirds. So we're gonna do an example using these halves and thirds. And we came up with, in our previous video, we saw on our factor chart, on our multiples chart, that when we did multiples of two and multiples with three, let's write this just in case you have forgotten the previous video, we put our factor of change at the top. So we start with times one and we had two and three. We're going for a match because we want them to match. So now we're going to do times two. And two times two is four. And two times three is six. Hopefully this is bringing back the memory. Then we, we still do not have two, three, four, and six. No matches. Times three. Two times three is six. I can stop right there. Because check this out. We have a six and we have a six. They match, and that's what we're looking for. We're trying to get them common. So that means I'm gonna turn my halves into six. My denominator needs to be six. So I'm gonna change my halves into six, and I'm gonna change my thirds into six, because we said six is the least common denominator. So now I'm gonna change my third into six, And now I can operate. So the problem we started with, we, we have two problems. We're going to do addition and subtraction. We had one half plus one third. So let's start with our addition problem. Well, they're not alike, so we can't have a common answer. So we took our halves and we said, well, one half is the same as three six. And if we had used our factor of change, we multiplied our numerator and our denominator by the same factor of change in order to get the three six. Plus, we changed one third, our factor of change, 
was for the three right over here, here's my six, my factor of change is times two, times two, because what I do to my denominator, I do to my numerator to keep it the same. And that gave us two sixths. And I have proved this with our fraction strips. Now we can add these together because they're all the same size pieces. And we get a total of five sixths. So the answer here, one half plus one third equals five sixths. Now let's look at this if we were subtracting. So if we were subtracting one half and I wanted to take away one third, well, we discovered that the equivalent fraction with to make common denominators would be three sixths minus the equivalent fraction to this one to make six with the common denominator of six, the LCD is two six. Well, now that means I'm asking you to take these two six away from here. So we're going to take these two away from the half. This is just our thought, okay? So I took two sixths away from my half and I'm left with one sixth. Now we can see again, once we made those common denominators, we actually just had to operate three minus two is one. So one half minus one third equals one sixth. So I used my blocks to prove it to you. So you can see right here what we did with common denominators. When they match, you just operate on the top. If they don't match, we're just adding one more step. We're gonna find the LCD. We do that with our multiples chart. Find the common, least common denominator. Then we know our factor of change for that particular fraction. So my thirds, I'm gonna have to multiply the numerator and denominator by two. For my halves, I'm gonna have to use factor of change of three. So I multiply my numerator and my denominator times three. Now I have my equivalent fractions. And once we have our common denominators, we can do our operation to our numerator because the size of the pieces at that point will not change.